If you don't own a bike and you buy this helmet, you're gonna be looking like the biggest Timmy in the world walking around downtown with a helmet on your head. Everybody's like, where's your bike? What bike? I just bought the f***ing helmet, man. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we're gonna take a look at Supreme's Week 16. Catch me outside, how about that? This week, Supreme is teaming up with Ducati to bring us a huge collaboration that's got some mixed reviews. They doubled down on this collection. Pretty much the entire drop is a Ducati collaboration. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> But don't worry, I'll go over the entire drop list. But first, I want to make sure that you guys have the means to cop anything that your little heart desires in the streetwear world. And the best place for you to do that is the Fauntleroy's Finest Discord. We have Larry's streetwear calendar that tells you everything you need to know about what's dropping this week. Manny keeps us up to date on all the best shoes dropping throughout the week. The new Wave Lee has given us the best free Supreme community monitors out there. And of course, our boy Reup23 with the ACO channel has been cooking up for everybody out there that can't cop on their own. But inside, you're garbage. Best of all, that sucker's free. All you gotta do is click the invite link in the description below and you are in. And if you enjoy these videos, help support the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. Shut the fuck up, bitch. All right, enough about that. Let's get into the drop. First up, we have this warm-up hooded sweatshirt. I'm gonna be honest with you, I love what they did with that hoodie there. I wish they would do that on a few more pieces. Most people wear the hoodie down anyways. This is a super cool idea. It sucks that the rest of this hoodie is so plain. Hopefully they remember that, uh, that hood for the future, but otherwise, let's keep going. And then next up, the Supreme Ducati six panel hat. I'm really not a big fan of this graphic on the hat. It looks like something ghetto and something redneck had a baby and it's just not working for me, especially on this hat. This just isn't working out. I'm kind of disappointed. It would have been better if they just had a little Ducati logo with some Supreme on it. Nice, simple would have been better. That's not what they did. So I'm gonna move along. All right, guys, here you go. You've been asking for cargo water shorts and now you got them. The Supreme swim shorts are usually pretty good. I think these are interesting because they have that cargo pocket on them. And I do think that this special colorway kind of looks like you're looking at tile under the water or something like that. I, I think that this colorway is the one to go after if you want these, but all the colorways should do okay. It is kind of crazy. These usually do sell out at $110 for some swim trunks. I feel like they only make these once a year though for the spring summer season. So if you need some Supreme swim shorts, you're gonna have to pick them up this week. Next up, the Ducati racing suit. Now this is gonna be available only at Ducati dealerships and apparently only to people that have bought the Ducati bike. So technically the retail on this would be 54,000 because you need to buy the bike in order to get this. But it is 100% true that these are Ducati brand dealership items only. Not happening in this store in Supreme, not getting them online. So again, if you're a big baller Ducati boy, you know where to get these. <laughs> Next up, the SMR Collins special. We got the lightweight mesh balaclava. I believe that making mesh balaclavas is potentially illegal in some countries. I wish it was in this country. It's not, so they're allowed to make these but please don't buy them. Next up, we have the Ducati racing jacket. Just like the racing suit, the racing jacket is Ducati brand dealership only. You're not getting these in store, so just don't even ask. And if you don't own a Ducati, you really don't need this. You'd look like the biggest fucking Timmy in the world if you were walking around with this, and then some guy goes, hey, what Ducati do you have? And like, oh no, I just wear the jacket because I'm so cool. <laughs> Lose his marble, didn't he? Yeah, he lost some good. <laughs> All right, let's get back to reality. Here are the Supreme Ducati track pants. I think that this track suit in total is a pretty decent pickup. I really dislike a $198 retail on a pair of track pants, but these are pretty cool. I'd have to say that the red and white pair are the ones that I would say maybe have some legs in the future, could potentially have some resell in them. But again, I feel like this particular collaboration is very hit or miss. I've seen some people just hating on it for no reason, and I see some people just loving it for no reason. Like, you never had any interest in Ducati before, but when you slap a Supreme logo next to it, then everybody's into it. And I get it from both sides. 
At the end of the day, this is why I still love the brand Supreme. They kind of make shit for everybody. Like, I'm not really a motorcycle guy, but I do appreciate Ducati and how they make nice, fine machines. It's the same as the Lamborghini collaboration, right? I don't own a Lamborghini, but I like that collaboration. I'd wear the t-shirt, I'd wear the jersey, but I wasn't getting the worker jumpsuit because I'm not working on any Lamborghinis anytime soon. If you wanted to gamble on these, like I said, red and white and generally biggest sizes, but buying track pants for resale is kind of going sicko mode a little bit in a bad way. Give it Next up, the Supreme Ducati Bike Tee. Again, I'm not really a huge fan of this image. I really don't like it on the hat. I like it a little better on the t-shirt. It's, it's okay here, but it still comes off a little too maybe cartoony or I don't know what they're going for here, but I just don't really feel like this graphic landed it. Not my cup of tea. If it's yours, great, get it. I don't really have a ton of faith for this one on the resale market. Maybe if you get black XL, XXL, there could be something down the road, but in my opinion, this this one's just not it. Everyone's wishes have been granted. Here are the ripstop keychains finally coming out. <laughs> I think these are supposed to match the bag colorways from earlier in the season, the ripstop bags. If you have some extra time and can throw something else into your cart, why not do it with a ripstop keychain? I mean, it has a little bit of ripstop on the end, so if a car is about to run you over, they'll see the ripstop, they'll swerve out of your way. Your life just got saved by an $18 keychain. Next up, we have the Supreme Ducati hooded racing jacket. This might be my piece of the collaboration, quite honestly, and specifically the denim colorway of this jacket. I think that they did a really good job with that jacket in particular. The red colorway looks good as well. Honestly, all three colorways are decent in this jacket, and the price point isn't quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was thinking these are going to be 400 450 These are 368 Not a horrible price point. It's probably $75, $100 more than what they would sell a just regular Supreme item that looked like this, but these jackets are a little bit unique. I don't remember seeing stuff quite like these before. Maybe similar, but not exactly like this. I love how they did the patches. It's not too busy, just enough, and then the nice hit on the back. Super cool piece, a little bit taxi. Not sure if I would recommend these for resale or not. They shouldn't make too many of them, and bigger sizes, especially in that denim colorway, should make you a little bit of money, but again, high retail already, so that means it's pretty risky. So I would honestly be focusing on most of this stuff for the personal and for some reason if it did pop off then good for you congratulations congratulations Congratulations! Next up, we have the Supreme Ducati Racing Helmet. Now, this helmet is going to be in the Supreme store only, not selling these online. So again, if you want the helmet, you got to get your ass into a Supreme store or know somebody that's going in there. This thing is like a $1,400 helmet. I believe it's at least $400 more than what a normal helmet such as this would cost had it not had a Supreme Ducati collab all over it. Super cool helmet, super cool flex, but but boy, is it expensive, and man, are they taxing the shit out of anybody that wants this helmet. If you don't own a bike and you buy this helmet, you're going to be looking like the biggest Timmy in the world walking around downtown with a helmet on your head. Everybody's like, where's your bike? What bike? I just bought the fucking helmet, man. Uh, next up, we have the Supreme Ducati Leather Gloves. Somehow, these are only in store as well. I know folks were out there going, I'm gonna buy the gloves, I'm gonna buy the gloves. What are you doing with a pair of gloves that have carbon fiber knuckles if you don't have a bike to ride them on? They're like made to grab all the handlebar, you know? <laughs> this is probably the one piece you could get away with. You still should have a motorcycle if you have these gloves, quite honestly. But I will say that this price point leaves a little bit of room for some resell in these gloves. 128 seems pretty close to what these normally go for anyways. I could be completely wrong here. Not really a motorcycle guy, but these will be rare. If they're in-store only, they're going to be really hard to get. So this could be an item that has a lot of potential just because not everybody has access to it. You literally need to go to the store or have someone go to the store to get these probably pretty early in the day. But it's the cheapest item as far as all these like high-end Ducati items that could have some legs in the future. I got hairy legs that turn that 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 turn uh, uh um blonde in the sun 
All right, next up, we have the Supreme Ducati Logo T. In my opinion, this is probably going to be the best item to pick up online this week. I think it should have a pretty good return on investment. This, to me, is probably the best item that's going to be releasing online from the collection that has a good potential for resale, at least. I think this Logo T is a great example of what a nice racing piece should look like. It has some nice little tags on the front and then a nice big back hit with a bunch of different logos on the back. Now, I saw some people like, I can't believe they're putting shell on there and I can't believe that. Get over yourselves, all right? Like, there was a dude on Discord who, like, buys V-Loan, no problem, but it's talking about how this shirt has a shell on it, so it's fucking the devil or whatever. Who knows? I don't work for shell. I don't fucking care about shell. If this is a racing item, it's gonna have shell crap on it. You name me any company that's as big as shell, and I'll show you how they're a pile of garbage and you should never buy anything from them. If we did that to every company that was a bad company, we'd be making a lot of our own shit. All that aside, this t-shirt should do pretty well. It might be one of the best t-shirts that they have coming out this season as far as reselling goes. And specifically, I would be focused on that black colorway, XL, XXL. Those are going to be your money makers in this one. Potentially that red shirt as well, but I think the black one, all the colors play the best on that black shirt. Always bet on black. All right, we saw the track pants a long time ago, and now finally we have the Supreme Ducati track jacket. For sure, the jacket is way cooler than the track pants. I'm going to say the same thing about these track jackets. That red and white colorway is probably the best one. But all in all, they did a good job with the colorways in this collaboration. 248 is a significant amount of tax on a track jacket, but they are really cool, and I figure they have all those logos on them, so maybe they do have to cut back to some of those other brands. But this one's set up a little bit opposite of the hooded jacket where it has the Supreme in the middle and the Ducati kind of on the sleeve on the side. And then it also has a really cool back hit with a number one on it with Supreme and Ducati as well. Just in case you didn't know who made this jacket. Uh, it's kind of a tough one for me to recommend this for resale. It's definitely an expensive track jacket from Supreme, no doubt. But $250 is not that terrible for a jacket. And I do think that these could have some legs down the road. Again, those XLs, XXLs would be your money sizes and i do expect these to fly i assume like botters are going to be going crazy with these the t-shirts probably even the track pants so if you are a ducati boy and you have your eye out on any of the ducati items you better be fast as speedy gonzalez because these things are going to sell out like that and in second place this week, a $50,000 Supreme Ducati bike. I don't have to tell you that these are going to be dealership only. I believe that you would have already had to reach out to the dealership to start getting information if you actually did want to buy this $50,000 motorcycle. I mean, it's a super cool Ducati motorcycle with Supreme logos all over it. I mean, do I have to say anything about it, really? Like, you, you can't afford it. The only person I even know trying for this thing is Manny in the Discord, and I think he's gonna undercut him. Good luck, Manny. I can't wait to go nuts to butts with you on this motorcycle. Principal Skinner? Up yours, children. And then here we go, the number one item of the week. This probably also is a pretty safe item to pick up, the Supreme Ducati jersey. Yes, $148 is a bit of a tax for a jersey from Supreme, but I do feel like this one has the potential to do well in the future. The issue is how well is it going to do, and that's going to depend on stock numbers. The other thing that kind of sucks with this is four different colorways of the jersey. But again, this thing is really neat. It has patches all over it. We got the Pirelli, the shell, a little Supreme patch, big Ducati hit in the front, and then the Supreme in the number one with Ducati in the back, similar to the track jacket. This is definitely the poor man's favorite fancy item of the week if you can't get the track jacket if you can't get the denim hooded jacket yes you can probably pick up a jersey the problem is these things are going to fly it's this item has the most reasonable retail of any of the big items releasing it's online only this is made for the botters to eat hit up the aco forms channel sign up with reup 23 he's your best chance of copping jerseys heck any of the ducati items that are dropping this week and obviously the link is in the description below great story compelling and rich. All right, guys, there you go. There's your drop list for the week. Which one of you guys are riding home on a brand new $50,000 Ducati this week? Nobody? Let me know in the comments down below. What are you guys going after, if anything? I'm not sure what I'm going to go after. At least I want to pick up a t-shirt, something like that. 
Whatever, major loser. I guess I'll figure that out on the live stream Thursday morning, 7.30 a.m. Pacific time. We're copping some bricks. Thank you guys for joining me, and if this video did not give you the fill of Fauntleroy that you need in your life today, well, then you should check out these videos right here. I caught the top, Balenciaga, put it in face, bend it on him. Fly the Abu Dhabi, spin it on him.